Hello friends and welcome to my travel capsule wardrobe. I'm going to Italy for 10 days. I'm packing a carry-on only. It's the first time I have ever done carry-on only. These are the clothes that I'm going to be wearing for 10 days. Doesn't look like a lot, but because I have to lug my own suitcase around on trains and planes and ferries, I want to keep my wardrobe as minimal as can be. And I went with two basic colors, black, navy, but I have thrown in pops of pink because I do like pink. So I have my uh, wardrobe divided into kind of two sections. The first one is when we are in Rome for four days where you have to dress a little more modestly if you're going to be visiting the Vatican or any other religious site. Once we are in Capri and on the Amalfi Coast we can relax with our dressing and wear some more vibrant colors and we don't have to worry about covering our shoulders or our knees. Because in Rome if you go into the Vatican or many religious just sites you cannot go in with bare shoulders or your knees showing that goes for both men and women so I'm gonna go through all of the clothes that I have I'm going to show you the outfits and how I am going to coordinate them and then in another video I'm going to get you help me pack and hopefully all of this fits into my carry-on because I'm just taking a small carry-on suitcase and then a leather carry-on tote bag with all of my electronics and my purse in it so the first thing I want to show you is a new to me purchase. So I have to cut the tags off. Bought this on Amazon and I bought it specifically for this trip. It's an anti-theft purse. It is slash proof. The strap is slash proof. Lots of times thieves will come up from behind and have scissors or a, a knife of some sort and cut your purse and it's gone before you even realize it's gone. This is an anti-theft purse. It has many, many pockets. I like to wear a crossbody purse when I travel because I can just keep it in front and kind of keep my hand on it. I never wear it like in the back and I never hang it on the back of a chair when I'm traveling. Like that is a definite no-no. I don't even do that when I'm at home and say I go to a restaurant. I always keep it beside me. This purse has RFID pockets where if you want, you can put your credit cards in. You don't have to worry about the information on them being stolen. I have a separate video that I will link below in the description box where I share 10 essential things that you should have for Europe. And in that video, I go over a lot of the safety things. So that is the only purse that I'm taking. So our flight leaves Montreal at 9.20 p.m. It's an eight hour flight. We get to Rome at 11.20 a.m. the next day there. Six hours time difference, so we're gonna be tired. I can't sleep on a plane. I'm gonna do a separate video just where I should talk about the outfit that I wear on the plane. So we get to Rome on a Monday and then we can hopefully get into our hotel, have a shower and change. And for the rest of Monday, when we're walking around, Rome rather half asleep. I'm just gonna wear this dress that you saw that I wore when I went on my Caribbean cruise in March. This is from Amazon. It's just a nice lightweight dress. It's sleeveless. It has pockets which I love. It's very flattering and because I'm petite it cuts like right at my knee so it should be okay and I am bringing one sweater that I will uh, cover my shoulders with but I mean whenever we're out the first day we don't plan on doing much. Just maybe sitting in the sun having lunch, poking around a bit. So I should be okay with my bare shoulders. So then on the Tuesday, we have a tour booked of the Roman Colosseum. So I plan to wear shorts and a top. This is a top that I've had for quite a while. I bought it at Clio. I like it because it's dressy. It's not just like a regular t-shirt. It's actually a sleeveless blouse and I'm gonna pair this with I'm bringing three pairs of shorts with me two are dressy shorts and one is more for when we're hiking so I have a pair of navy shorts and a pair of black shorts and this goes well with either that will be my outfit for on Tuesday when we go to the Coliseum on Wednesday I don't think we have much on but my daughter found that there's a cat sanctuary in the middle of Rome she knows that I love cats so we're going to find the cat sanctuary and we're just gonna hang out with the cats and I'm so excited because because I love cats and I'm going to miss Buddy, my cat, when I'm there. So I hope he doesn't get jealous of me. But I thought that I would just pair this nice light pink sleeveless blouse. Still has the tags on from Clio. It's been in my closet for a couple of years. So I really shot my closet. I only bought, I think, one new top for this trip. So I'll pair this, uh, depending on the weather, probably with a pair of black shorts or the navy shorts. Whenever we're out walking around Rome, I have a pair of black walking shoes. These are from the company 
company, Mephisto. I've had these for nine years. They've traveled all over the world with me. I only wear them when I travel. I have very flat feet, so I need something with arch support. And I have also had plantar fasciitis in the past, and that's so painful. So I really like the Mephisto shoes. They work really well with my feet. So I'm only bringing those shoes, a pair of sandals I'll show you in a bit, and a pair of flip-flops for around the pool. So now we're at Vatican Day, and you have to be careful. Like I said earlier, your shoulders have to be covered. You have to be dressed modestly. Your knees have to be covered. I checked the weather. It's 30 Celsius here today. It's really too hot for this time of year. But in Rome, the weather is going to be comparable, probably around 28, and there's no air conditioning in the Vatican. At least there wasn't when I was there uh, nine years ago. So I want to wear a t-shirt. This is just a lightweight t-shirt. It's by the company Leave Nothing Behind, and it's just a basic black t-shirt. I plan to pair it with a pair of black leggings that I have. These are navy, but the black ones are in the washing machine, but I just wanted to show you. I'm taking two pair of leggings. They're one black, one navy. This with the black capri pants, the black shoes. I will be dressed in black and should be fine to get into the Vatican. So now we're at Friday. We have to get on a high speed train to go to Naples, where we then have to get on a ferry to go to Capri for the weekend. And I'm so excited to go to Capri. I have never been. I've always wanted to, and it looks lovely. This is a new top that I bought from Clio. It's a boat neck top, and I tried it on, and it actually is flattering for somebody with a round face like me. I liked it because it has a little bit of puffy sleeve on top, so it's just a little dressy. And I also like that the sleeve is a little longer than a typical t-shirt, but I want to show you something funny. I just noticed it when I was pulling outfits. It's almost the same print, and I have another one in my closet from like four years ago where they're using the same print. I just thought that was so funny. I really love a print, especially when, you know, you're carrying weight in the middle. It just kind of conceals it a little bit. So it's very flattering. So depending on the weather for on the train, I'll probably wear this with a pair of black shorts and my uh, black walking shoes and I'll be fine. And once we get to Capri, it's really hot there or cooler, I can adjust my clothing. Okay, so now it's Saturday, we're in Capri and we plan on doing a lot of uh, walking around and there's also a chairlift that we can take to a summit of a mountain where you look out over the Bay of Naples. It looks beautiful. I'm a little scared about going on the chairlift. I don't like heights and there's single chairlifts, only one person at a time and it's a 12 minute ride up to the top of the mountain. So I'm a little scared about doing that. I'm gonna do it because I want to see the view. But I just wanted to show you, I bought these shorts off of Amazon and these were for my cruise. They have a fake back pocket. They're very dressy, they're very comfortable and they were very reasonably priced. And actually I was kind of blown away with the quality. They're very comparable to high-end designer shorts in the quality. There are pockets in the front. So I have the exact same shorts in navy and black, my go-to whenever I travel. It's just so easy because if you've spill something on that you know it doesn't show and they're really comfortable and they're not heavy so there's the black pair as well so saturday in capri i will wear the shorts but then i'll probably depending on the weather i might wear this top that i've had for ages but i just like the neck detail i'm not bringing a lot of jewelry with me i'm actually probably not going to bring any other than my watch and my uh, studs that i wear so i don't have to worry about losing it but this is kind of dressy and i'm not really sure what the vibe is in Capri. So I just want to kind of elevate my dressing. I don't want to go around, you know, just in a t-shirt. Another option that I have for Capri is I have this charcoal sleeveless dress that I could also wear. And when I'm in Capri, depending on, you know, what the terrain is like, how much walking is involved, I will probably wear my Mephisto sandals. And I love these sandals. These are actually my second pair of Mephisto sandals. They're so comfortable because they have arch support. Your foot just fits in it like a glove and at, at the end of the day I don't have sore feet. I don't have a backache. They're great. I know their shoes are a little expensive when you first purchase them but like those leather walking shoes I showed you I've had them for nine years and they're still in very good shape. Did we do sun Sunday was a dress right? Saturday was the short Sunday was a dress. So Monday we're taking high speed ferry to Positano and I'm going to wear this colorful dress because I thought that it would be perfect for the beautiful Amalfi Coast. And I can just, you know, imagine myself on the ferry with the wind blowing and the colorful village of Positano in the distance. I have not been there. 
I have been to the Amalfi Coast before, but to Salerno, Sorrento, and Amalfi City. We are staying in, I think it's Priana, because the hotels were just too expensive in Positano, so I found one. It's not too far away. Our hotel actually looks out onto uh, Positano, which should be nice. So I'm wearing this and I think that it's going to be about 23 Celsius and I should be fine with sleeveless top. The next day we are doing a hike and it's called Path of the Gods and you're basically walking along the cliffs of the Amalfi Coast and you're seeing beautiful, beautiful scenery. Now it is a treacherous hike and I told my daughter I'm not doing the whole thing because I don't want to fall off a cliff or like, you know, break an ankle or something in the middle of nowhere. But but we found an area, it's a section, it's maybe two or three kilometers, it takes about an hour to do where it's reasonably safe and there's lots of people that go on that area. So I plan to be sweating, so I'm just taking a t-shirt and, and I have a pair of like exercise shorts from Old Navy. And depending on how hot it is, I'm also bringing this top that I bought this spring from Athletica, which is nice and open and airy. And I suspect the day we do that walk, I probably won't be able to move the next day so I'm hoping the hotel has a nice hot tub. On the Wednesday we hope to go to Ravello which is another town in the Amalfi Coast and you can take a bus to there. So depending on the weather I'll wear a pair of shorts but I also have some navy capris and I thought that I could wear this top with it. It's just a nice uh, sleeveless dressier type blouse. I've worn it many times in the past. I love blue and I think it'll be nice blue on the coast. And then I also have this other top that I bought. I'll probably uh, wear it when we're in either Capri or the Amalfi Coast as well. And again, with either the shorts or the Capris. The only long pants that I'm taking, I was going to take two pair, but then I thought, you know what? It's already hot here. I get hot <laughs> very easily anymore. So I'm just taking my Zella joggers. I'm gonna wear these on the plane with a t-shirt going and when I come home. And if we have to do laundry when we're there, we'll just pay to have the laundry done. It's cheaper than paying, you know, for the luggage fees. And I also threw in another uh, tank top if we you know are hiking and I want to change my top. For pajamas I actually am taking two pair. This is the short set from Nordstrom. Uh, I wear the the extra large fits me and then this is the night shirt that I bought when it was on sale from Nordstrom. Those are my PJs for the 10 days. I'm taking my swimsuit cover up. Probably won't be swimming in the coast, in the water on, on the Amalfi Coast because it's just too cold yet for this time of the year. But depending how hot I get on that hike, I may just jump in, like who knows? Taking one bathing suit and it's just a tankini. Bought this from Land's End. I have had that for a couple of years and I'm also taking a pair of flip-flops, which, um, are out at the front door. And then I'm taking one scarf. So that's my capsule wardrobe for traveling. I know it doesn't look like a lot of clothes and at first when I was kind of looking at everything, I thought, I don't know if I'm packing enough, but you know what? We can make do, like I said, if we have to do laundry, we'll pay to have laundry done um, because I have to lug my suitcase and you know, we're gonna have to be going up and down stairs. I don't want it too heavy. And I'm sure they have stores in Rome if I need to buy some clothing. And I may actually buy some tops when I'm uh, in Positano because they have some nice uh, stores where they hand make the clothing and it's really beautiful beautiful. So I hope you enjoyed seeing my travel capsule wardrobe for my carry-on for my trip to Italy. Be sure to subscribe because I plan on doing a lot of vlogging from Italy and I'm going to be doing an outfit of the day video while we're away and I can show you what I wear each day and whenever I get home we can talk about how I did with my wardrobe and if I packed enough or if I overpacked or you know if I would make any changes if I was to do it again. If you also want to keep in touch you can follow me on Instagram and also on the link to know it app. So if you enjoyed seeing my travel capsule wardrobe, I hope that you will subscribe. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I'll see you soon. Bye.